Item number SCP-2424 Object Class Euclid, formerly SAFE Special Containment Procedures SCP-2424 is to be kept in Testing Hangar 9 at Research Site 45 for further study. A yellow demarcation line is to be painted along the floor around SCP-2424 within a 40 meter radius, indicating the limits of SCP-2424's perception. This area is to be known as the Interaction Zone. Any personnel returning from the Interaction Zone are to be debriefed and physically screened for any anomalous effects. At least two armed security personnel are to be present at the north and south entrances at all times. The on-site explosives disposal unit will handle all unusual ordnance from SCP-2424 as detailed in the standard protocols for extrinsic hazardous materials. Formerly, all testing will require Level 3 supervision and be carried out by D-Class personnel. No more than one D-Class is allowed in the interaction zone during approved testing. However, that no longer applies. Structural integrity inspections of the hangar are to be performed twice a month. All anomalous radio wave frequencies recorded from SCP-2424 are to be sent to Lab 7 for analysis. Description SCP-2424 resembles a marine mammal possibly belonging to the Autobenidae family. Note, the only known surviving species in this family is the walrus. Unlike the other members of the Autobenidae family, SCP-2424 has a second pair of muscular flippers, light purple skin color, various cybernetic implants of unknown function, and is considerably larger in both length and weight, 35 meters and 26 tons respectively. SCP-2424 was captured 39 kilometers north of Idokoto Meat, Greenland, near an Inuit settlement that appears to have been destroyed by fire. No local records of the settlement exist. SCP-2424 appears to have a 260mm cannon of unknown make and model that can extend and retract from its mouth. This weapon has been observed to eject black spherical projectiles extremely low velocities, sometimes firing up to three projectiles at once. SCP-2424 can also create seismic vibrations whenever it strikes the ground with sufficient force. Anyone standing within the interaction zone during this will suffer full body paralysis for a full period of exactly 4 seconds. It is currently unknown how these vibrations cause this reaction in individuals. SCP-2424 will engage in hostile activity whenever someone is within the interaction zone, as it appears that this is a range of SCP-2424's perception. During testing, the class personnel have reported strange electronic background noise playing from an unknown source, as well as sound effects that respond in sync with their physical actions. So, this has not been confirmed or recorded. Update. See Addendum 2424-4 for further details. SCP-2424 will continue to react hostily until one of the following criteria is met. The individual is killed. The individual moves out of the interaction zone. Addendum 2424-1. Researchers involved with SCP-2424 have found a strategic pattern during hostile interactions after reviewing test footage. SCP-2424 seems unable to deviate from this pattern, which makes altercations much more predictable for future tests. Below is a compiled set of instructions for review. 1. Approach SCP-2424 from the front and stand at its periphery of its vision, 40 meters. 2. Move one step to the right after 3 seconds to avoid projectiles. 3. Move one step to the left after 3 seconds to avoid projectiles. 4. Move one step back and crouch after 3 seconds to avoid projectiles. 
5. Move back to original position. 6. Jump into the air as SCP-2424 lifts up to perform the secondary seismic attack as to not have contact with the ground. 7. Repeat steps 2 to 6. Addendum 2424-2. D-class test subjects have discovered inadvertently that if one were to throw the projectiles back at SCP-2424, they explode and cause its entire body to flash bright red. After this is performed six times, SCP-2424 will explode without leaving behind any traces of remains or influence. Persons directly responsible for destroying SCP-2424 were then redacted, after which SCP-2424 will instantly reappear in the exact same position as before the altercation began. Addendum 2424-3 Recently, it has come to the attention that SCP-2424 is in fact sapient and capable of vocal communication. There is only one interview on record between personnel and SCP-2424 as it now refuses to respond to communication attempts. See attached. Level 2 access required. Access granted. Interview transcript 2424-1. Date. Beep. Interviewer, Dr. Namdev Patel via intercom. Subject, SCP-2424. <sighs> Excuse me, what was that? Mm, nothing. Just being bored waiting for this guy. Who? The hero guy, I mean. I could have sworn there was a two-minute time limit. I'm not sure, though. Can't really tell one minute from the next anyhow. Can you elaborate on that? You know what I'm talking about, Bruiser. I mean, he has to get through me before he gets to you. I am speaking to Bruiser, aren't I? I'm not... I mean, yeah, you are. Well, you've probably heard me rant before, but it's rough being me. How do you mean? I don't have any good attacks. Earlier... When the heroes were dressed in orange, he was dodging everything. I was dashing out like he was taunting me. Then he just quit. It was pathetic. I'm still pretty depressed about it. How come you don't try? I mean, it's not that bad. Easy for you to say. You are way better. You can swim and dive. Plus, your long tusk can turn into a torpedo. Oh, and your high-pitched sonic blast! That's pretty impressive! You've killed a hero a lot more times than I ever have! Most times he kills me in the first few moments. I'm not sure I understand. I can figure you would. I'm the first, the easiest, I'm supposed to be. I've been destroyed more times than I care to remember, and each time it hurts. I'm not happy about my existence, but I've come to accept my demotion. I just hope you and the others appreciate the position I have to fill. Which others? You know, Ursa Mahler, Nebert Seal Team 6, Bowling Mammoth, pretty much everyone who serves in the Legion of Emperor Penguin. Yes, well, but to clarify, this hero... He comes to me after he beats you, correct? Come on, Bruiser! How long have you been doing this? Of course you are next after me! Right, right, of course, silly me. Bruiser, what's my name? It's, um, wait, it's... Oh, damn it! You're Morty Eskimo, aren't you? I'm ready for you this time. Come at me! <sighs> further testings involving SCP-2424 are to be suspended until further notice. Research involving additional entities related to SCP-2424 are ongoing, as to determine the whereabouts of previous missing test subjects. Reports from local authorities described an unknown individual that has been observed to frequent the acquisition site of SCP-2424. Reports also detail that the individual appears lost or confused, and is heard calling the name Anaya multiple times.
Conned orders are to detain the suspect on site and bring in for questioning. Senior field agents are to advise the teams that said suspect may have anomalous properties, which could hinder capture. SCP designation and MTF acquisition requests are currently underway. Level 3 access required. Access granted. Addendum 2424A. The individual suspect associated with SCP-2424 as mentioned in the above. Addendum 2424-3 as apprehended by Foundation agent on August 17th, 2015 in Eastern Greenland. As confirmed in citing report, such suspect is of Inuit descent, wears traditional Inuit clothing, and is estimated to be in his late teens. The only belongings the suspect had on his person were a handmade spear and tailored booklet tied together with sinew. The contents of this booklet are still under investigation. The suspect speaks in an Inuit dialect that closely resembles Tunumisut. On-site foundation interpreters and linguists are currently reviewing transcripts in order to translate the suspect's speech. Upon detainment, the suspect was agitated about having his possessions confiscated and refused to eat or drink for two days. On the third day, the suspect was seen in the cell on camera, performing a series of specific movements repeatedly. After several hours, the security cameras were suddenly blinded by a bright flash emanating from the suspect's cell. Afterwards, when the clear video feed was re-established, the suspect was no longer in his detainment cell. No apparent signs of damage to the cell or cell door is visible. Suspect is still awaiting an SCP designation pending the close of this investigation. In the meantime, suspect may be considered anomalous. Foundation agents are advised to detain the suspect with a body harness to prevent movement when detained. Addendum 2424 -4. After further analysis, it is confirmed that SCP-2424 is indeed capable of projecting signals in the form of ultra-high frequencies. Only affected individuals in the interaction zone are able to perceive them as audio. Below is a sample recorded during testing believed to be the background noise as described by D-Class personnel. Access Digital Audio Archive Access granted.